Hey Slippers, so Megan Thee Stallion is about to come out with her own documentary October 31st. And the bards, honey, they're not too happy about it because they're now allegedly implying that all she's going to do is lie. And they also say, honey, this picture is airbrushed. Like, they don't like the picture. And at this point, you know, if she's going to put out a documentary, she might as well tell the truth what happened between her and Tori Lanez and the other guys that she was allegedly smashing while she was with Party at the time. So practically, they were like, honey, girl, if you're going to put out a whole documentary, it doesn't make sense you lie. <laughs> and they always say Megan Thee Stallion, she knows how to lie more than how she knows how to rap. Now, to be honest, I feel like Megan, she been through a lot, you know, being shot at, whether by, you know, a friend, a boyfriend, or someone who you don't even know. That alone is very traumatizing. I don't condone violence. It's nothing good, you know. That's something you don't tolerate. So I really emphasize, well, sympathize, sorry, with her, okay? I don't think Nikki was bullying Megan because of her situation. I feel like because Megan was kind of being like hypocritical towards Nikki, hence why Nikki was coming at Megan. And I don't think Nikki's a bad person or Nikki was basically happy about someone's parents being deceased. I don't think that's the problem or the issue. Okay. But I want to know why everyone. Why is everyone so uh, oblivious to the fact where they think Megan is lying about the Tory Lane situation? Like, they think this girl is lying about being shot. Like, oh, Megan, she's lying on Tory Lane. Tory Lane's never shot this girl. And Jay-Z actually wants Tory Lane's locked up because Tory Lane has a lot of secrets on Jay-Z. And what is that about? Those are just speculations, rumors, alleged stories. Why would Megan Thee Stallion tell a blunt lie on a man to put him behind bars? Why lie on someone like that? You know, if you know someone never shot you, why lie on them that they did when they have a whole child? So I don't think Megan is going to lie on her lanes just like that, honey. I think just like she said, you know, she gave him ample time. She gave him enough chance and he just write a whole song about it. He was basically showing off about it, you know, playing in her face, rubbing it in her face. And she was like, no, you ain't going to shop me. Then make a whole song about it, making fun of me. You're going to face the court. Mind you, this this girl, Megan, also, she she doesn't have parents. She lost both parents. So, of course, you'd say her life growing up was pretty hard. And I do sympathize again. But I feel like majority of the things that she probably say, you know, or do, I don't think she's being truthful about them. Not the tour lanes, but, you know, probably she did some things that she never should have done, allegedly, you know, to gain fame. And I'm not going to word them out, but... I'm just going to say it's speculated that she had to smash a lot of DJs, allegedly, to gain certain position in this industry, you know, to reach certain milestone. All of a sudden, she's now close to Beyonce and Jay-Z. How? How did that happen? They backed her up. They supported her with the tour and lane situation. How did that happen? But I'm so eager to know everything that's about to showcase in this documentary. Megan, you better not tell no lies. But let me know what y'all about to anticipate. Let me know what y'all want to hear. Let me see those comments. Do not forget to like this video. Share if you care. Click that notification bell. And see you guys some other time. Thank you for sticking with us.